So I'm Mo Moulton. I'm a historian here at the University of Birmingham, um, and I work on uh, histories of queer gender and sexuality. And I also teach a, a special subject, a third year module in history called Gross and Decency, uh, Gender and Sexual Minorities from 1885 to the Present. Um, and I'm really excited to talk about how I use the Gale Cengage um, Archives of Gender and Sexuality, which is a bit of a mouthful um, in, in my research and, and my teaching. This is an archive I really love using for research and, and for teaching because I think that it's it's quite special in being an archive that actually kind of plunges you into um, real archives. So it, it's it's a set of entire collections from around Britain and around the world that exist in in you know in scattered libraries and, and archives. And rather than being a kind of compilation where somebody's chosen what they think is the greatest hits, it's actually the whole collection. It's just everything. Um, warts and all, which is which is really exciting. That's that's how historians work, and this allows myself and and my students to um, to experience that and and to analyze all those different elements. So, one of the collections that I've used a lot is the papers of Vera Jack Holm, who is one of my favorite uh, historical figures. So, Vera Holm was a chauffeur um, for some of the leading suffragettes and um, also just a really interesting person. So I'm going to scroll fast because it's down by the papers of Vera. It's towards the end. This gives you a sense of kind of all of the different collections that are there. So if I click through on Vera Jack Holm, um, this is the archive of her life. This is everything that she left behind. So there's material about her work um, as an ambulance driver, there's material about her work as a um, as a chauffeur. A chauffeur. There's material about her friends, the letters that she wrote, the love letters that she wrote. Um, there's photographs, all of these really delightful photographs. There's her diaries. I've used. I'm just going to click through the photograph because they're just like they're all amazing. Um, But there's lots to analyze about about her clothing and her gender presentation. So just to admire that. I've used her diaries as a source of information about the kinds of things that she read. Um, she recorded the books that she read at the end of each year and she reflected on them. So it's it's really a, a deep dive into kind of all these dimensions of the life of a queer person um, in the early mid-20th century. <laughs> 